Welcome to the new cutting edge in strategy backtesting, introducing the new Diamond Backtesting and Work Format Manager from Professional Software Solutions. In our session today, we will go over the work analysis. One called the Backtesting Manager. Um, here you see with a sample. Um, coming with the installation, the blue squares which indicate uh, results from a walk forward optimization. We can just click on the top result here. That's the best results from all the different um, back optimizations, walk forward optimizations. In total, 2880. And uh, to see uh, more specifics, you just right click on the result next to the blue square and for example you sh show me the overview as a list and now we see much more details um, the name reveals how we tested it we were using uh, for a filter the profit factor check we were using for the sorting the sort mix one and we're using set one for the uh, period selection which was, as you can see here, for the in-sample periods between 5, 10 and 30 runs dividing the data, which in this case is one year, into those different um, number of runs and then we also varied the out-of-sample periods by between 10% and 15 and so on to 30% so we get six variations for the in-sample, five for the out-of-sample, makes 30. Then we have four different sorts, so that's 120. And then we have 24 different filter combinations. Total 2880. The first, the best one here, with an a ending equity of uh, 6742, was using a four week to one week um, result here. So you can see here the in-sample started at uh, 2005, June 2nd, here this one, and then the in-sample ended at July 7th. And then the out-of-sample starts at July 12th, ending July 23rd. And so that uh, looks like that's one of the, um, with the 25 runs. Here we go, 25 runs. Um, then everything shifts to the next period, which is going from June 14th. Here's the next one. June 14th to July 23rd. Out of sample, again, directly con adjacent. July 24th to August 4th. And uh, here you can see a picture. Um, we will bring that up in a minute. In the on the web page, which shows you how those out of sample and in samples um, are constructed. Here, back testing, and then here is the overview. There, the blue square is the in-sample period. In this case, in an example, we had four weeks. And then the out-of-sample is like the adjacent. Then everything shifts by the out-of-sample period. So we are starting on week two. Again, four weeks. And the next one week out-of-sample and so on. And uh, the genius of the walk-forward method is to take only the out-of-sample results and con concatenate them together into one continuous result. That's what you see here. That's the combination of all those out samples. We are showing you here in the list. And within each period, uh, the filter um, is eliminating. Uh, um, Backtesting results you don't f um, consider interesting. And then the sort is sorting the remaining results and then coming up with one single candidate 
you see here on each period the candidate change. In the first one we had permutation number 2737. That's one of the backtesting uh, results we have used from the three and a half almost. Then in the next period we have permutation number 3254 uh, and so on, which uh, the numbers don't mean much to you, but that's why on the left uh, right side we showed you the parameters which are making up that combination. And here you can see some parameters are very stable here and some are more fluctuating. But uh, that's an easy way to see what parameters are actually behind those permutation numbers. Then here the ensemble produced in the first one $1435 with 38 trades, nice profit factor 1.8. Then the out of sample was actually following that good result. It had uh, $665 with 17 trades or hits and 1.9 profit factor. Then the next one we had 2000 in sample profit and then we had 835 which adds the equity coming to 1500 at the end of the second period and so on. And then the uh, 26 run from the 25 runs we are using here is now uh, would would be now in the in the future if you would run that up to the current date and it would show you here at the last column the parameters which are uh, suggested in the training. You can also of course right click and then uh, go into a spreadsheet to see the same details in the spreadsheet so you can save them and you can archive them and use other tools to go more into depth about each result. Then you can also, we can close this again, you can also um, see all the in sample positions. Here from the first period we had 17. Um, sorry, the out of sample, I was clicking on the out of sample, that was the 17 out of sample trades. And then here are the next 13 out of sample trades coming up to 1500 and so on. Th that's sorry, this uh, his scroll bar. This is all the out of sample trades 349 total, which you see here. At the end, 650, and then another boost. Here's the uh, th second week, roughly. You can also see the ensemble as a list, all the ensemble trades, 38 on the first period, and then another coming up to 76 trades. All again, you see here 38 ensemble trades with 17 out of sample trades for each period. And each time you select a different result, then this changes the equity changes, and then the results and the selection changes. And so that gives you a quick overview how you, your back testing has um, the, the walk forward back testing has fared. If you click on the category again, just like in the overall result, you see the distribution, some good results, seven thousand, but uh, the average is uh, in the red territory after around thousand permutations for the walk forward back testing. Uh, it settles here at an average of minus no, 1300 and then going down to 11,000. Uh, also the walk forward results are sorted by the drawdown, by the volatility. Here is the result when you open the branch with the then that's the lowest volatility coming up to four and a half thousand but less volatility here you have 16 percent you see much more whipsaws again just clicking on the minus collapses the branch and clicking on the plus expands it here's the profit factor here's the best profit factor very nice and then here a little less a little more whipsaw and so on this concludes the overview for the uh, initial walk forward result viewing. Thank you very much.